Hey guys, what's up? Simone here. So today in this video, we are working with Hair Vivi. If you're new to my channel, make sure before you leave, you go ahead and subscribe and like this video. So as every video that I do is always a little bit different, this video has been highly requested. I just never knew how to explain what I do. Now, I am not a hair cutting professional. I just pretty much watch videos, watch YouTube videos, and try to do my own thing from there and usually what i do just works okay so for all my professional hair cutters out there that might be like girl that is not how you cut hair i'm sorry but it works for me and <laughs> it looks good okay so in this video i am pretty much using a technique that i found from youtube and it's really for just cutting a bang but i've been using it to kind of like layer my hair and then i go ahead and neaten it up so that's towards a you know a couple minutes down in the video right now i wanted to show you guys how i'm installing it and i love hair baby wigs because you don't have to do anything to it the knots are bleached the hairline is already plucked for you so this is just me taking it out the box and going straight to the point as you guys can see i'm using gotta be glue to install my wig and i'm spraying it over the lace sometimes i'll do that sometimes i'll spray it under now when the better the lace is the better you the more you can get away with this technique of spraying it on top of the lace if the lace is not the best material nine times out of ten this technique will just turn crusty so make sure your lace is a good lace if it's hair vv it's usually a really good lace Go. Now, before we start cutting, we do want to make sure the hair is straight just so that, you know, nothing is uneven or, or, you know, bumped in a wrong area or cut wrong. So make sure it's nice and even. This is how the hair looks. You can see the ends, you know, wasn't as full as I would like it. So for our homemade layers, do exactly what I'm doing. I don't know how to explain it, but do exactly what I'm doing. Go to the end of your part and you're going to pull the, the hair that kind of falls by the top of your head. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this guys just follow what i'm doing the higher you put your finger up to your chin is the shorter your layers will be i didn't want my layers to be super short so i did put it about like what is that an inch or two inches under my chin and then we're gonna follow that same motion throughout the entire head until we have all the hair and rubber bands and I'm kind of separating each rubber band about a half an inch away from the other rubber band. So not too drastic. You don't want it to be too far apart because the layers are going to be chopped and botched. Okay, so for the last layer, we're going to split that in half and then make that one a little longer than the other ones, maybe a full inch away. So we have one, two, three, and four. Okay, now it's time for cutting. Again, if you watch the video that I will have linked to the description box down below, you're gonna put both pieces in your hand and you're gonna follow the exact same twisted motions. And then you want to just kind of trim it in a jagged motion like i mean like you don't want it to be too blunt but you don't want it to be like too choppy you know so it should have a little bit of a layered effect it might look like whoa i messed up but you, you kind of didn't so just keep going trust the process sis <laughs> you can't do everything all in one step okay Now, when you're finished doing that, it's going to look nuts. Like, you're going to be like, whoa, what did I do, right? What you want to do now is blend, okay? This is how I do it. I just blend. If you have a razor, um, what is it called? A razor comb, a razor scissors, I'll show you in the video. Um, that makes the process a little bit easier. But this is pretty much what I do. I eyeball it and just kind of go down in a layer of motion. Again, I know the hairstylists that are watching this are like, cringing and squeezing their butt cheeks in their seats but 
honey, this is what works for me. And it keeps my hair, it's, everything is even, as you can see. So nothing is all over the place. It's all even. When you put it in a ponytail, it looks layered. It feels good. It feels healthier. It feels thicker. And it feels fuller. Now with my Hamid Curling Iron, I think I'm using the second to largest barrel. Um, I'll have this linked in the description box. And I'm going to go ahead and just do some curls. And the reason why I love layering my hair is because when you flip it, when you curl it, the curls last so much longer. Everything stays in place even as the curls drop. So for me, if I want a hairstyle that has a body, looks full, looks fluffy, looks nice, and I don't have to curl it every day, layers definitely helps to create that look. So you can see it's just sitting. It just looks good all the time. I can, I don't have to curl my hair every day. I can literally curl it one day a week and it will still look like it has a body just because of the way I layered it. Now for this little trick, um, I'm going to flatten the top even more and I put some hairspray on it. I'm using the comb from my girl Kirsty. And um, you're going to use, you can either use a hot comb or you can use a curling iron. I used both because I don't know what you guys have available. I like to show you guys that there are options. So you can see just by doing that, one side is way flatter than the other. So you can use a hot comb or a curling iron. It's totally up to you, but I know some people don't have a hot comb. So I like to show you guys both methods. <laughs> And I like to purposely wait to do the hairline until the end. So please do not, do not, do not think that I'm going to leave it all, all white like that. We're going to fix it. Now it's time for us to do the hairline. And we're going to keep it very basic. I didn't really want baby hairs, but I did want the edges of the lace to be a little concealed. So just cut a little amount. You don't have to cut a whole bunch. Just cut a small amount and um, brush it in the direction that you want it to go in. Again, all the combs and all the hair tools that I'm using besides the scissors are from Kirsty and they are amazing they're sharp and they help to get my middle part well it came with a middle part but it helped me to define the middle part and the edges and this is the first part of the video i people always ask me how do you maintain your wig how long does the spray last the spray usually lasts for lasts as well usually will last about five four days for me that's if i cover it as I'm sleeping and when I go in the shower, okay? So this lasted quite some time, guys. And then five days later, all right, guys. So it's been five days since I've had this wig on. Um, I tied it down every day except for the last two days, but it's <laughs> this is how it technically looks. I actually have results. I'm about to go to my aunt's house for a Sunday dinner. So um, I'm gonna show you guys up close how it looks. So after five days, this is what my hair looks like. So it did start to lift because I stopped covering my hair, but I was showering with it, you know, every day, you know, shower caps and all that kind of stuff. But I think the foundation of it still looks pretty good. Um, it stayed down because I put so much heat on it the first couple of days. But what I am gonna do right now is reinstall it because I'm gonna do some makeup videos for Instagram. And honestly, I'm not trying to have y'all see this. <laughs> so watch me reinstall this. And your hairspray. And I'm just going to make sure it's sitting on my head normally. Like you don't wanna pull it up too much to the front and then you don't wanna have it like too far back and then your forehead's gonna look huge. So. <laughs> really dry before you move on to the next side and don't pull no tension don't pull to go up here don't just let it naturally sit where it, it sits awful yellow lighting in the beginning but um yes yeah, so this is how you should look right now this is how it should look down so you still have this side looking you know loose and this side is completely down so I'm gonna be using a right tooth comb to comb my hair
And when I finish all of this, then I'm gonna come back on camera and show you guys the finished look. Thank you.